Hi guys, welcome to another video about my old sled. Um, today I thought I'd do a video on uh, how to start a flooded snowmobile. So if you're new to snowmobiling like I am, something that's going to happen. Um, so especially if you have a sled like this with a primer on it, um, when a snowmobile is cold, it needs more fuel or a richer mixture to start than when it's at operating temperature. So what will happen a lot of times, what I did, um, was I would use the primer even when the sled was warm when I was getting used to things or give it too many shots on the primer and I ended up flooding it so there's so much fuel in the cylinder that uh, the spark plug actually can't ignite it. Um, so if you're, you know, you've been out riding uh, and it has been running good but then when you go to start it you can't get it started and you smell gas or you've got gas coming out of the exhaust um, then you've probably flooded it. So typically with a flooded engine what you would do is you would just sit and when you, you give it enough time that gas evaporates you can go ahead and start it. Um, with a snowmobile out though you're quite often going to be out on the trail or out in the cold and you don't want to sit around like that. So I'll show you a quick trip, trick for getting your sled started when it's high, it's flooded. And we're going to take these spark plugs out. So what we want to do is clear the uh, excess fuel out of these cylinders. So you're going to begin by taking your spark plugs out. So when it's flooded, you're going to notice that your spark plugs are wet with gas. So you're going to carefully dry them off. Okay, now we want to clear that excess fuel out of the cylinders. So what we're going to do, firstly, make sure your emergency stop is off. You don't want any spark while you're doing this. And then you're just going to pull it. Hold the throttle open and pull it. Now, because the spark plug's in there, you're not dealing with any compression, so this will be really easy to pull. And you might do this 15, 20 times. Make sure you get everything out of those cylinders. you're up and running again. So it's fairly easy. That's how you clear a flooded snowmobile engine. Uh, so again, it's fairly easily done with the, um, with the primers on these sleds. So you want two or three primes um, once you feel it's squishy, once the gas is in the line. Um, and just be careful not to overuse it. And once it's warm, you shouldn't need to prime it at all. So try starting it first before you prime it. If you can't get it started, then give it a shot or two. But uh, um, you know, if you just once it's warm, if you go ahead and, and give it two or three primes, that's enough to flood it. Okay, so hopefully you found that helpful. Uh, if you did, go ahead and hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time.